Allah Azza wa Jalla, the last thing He told us was, ثُمَّ لَتُسْأَلُنَّ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ عَنِ النَّعِيمِ On that day you are definitely, certainly going to be asked in regards to the favor and the blessings that you enjoyed. And this surah begins with the greatest blessing that we enjoy. So Allah says you'll be asked about all the blessings, but what's the biggest blessing? It's time itself. The fact that we have time, everyone has time. The rich person, the poor person, the healthy, the sick, the, the old, the young, everyone has time. So, and this is the number one thing we'll be asked about how we spent our time. SubhanAllah. So Allah says you'll be interrogated about the great blessings and the very next surah begins with the blessing that we appreciate the least, which is Al-Asr itself, it's time. Then the previous surah talked about the great distraction. at takathur We talked about takathur being something that distra- you know, Al-Hakum at takathur it distracted you. We, uh, we're too busy wanting more, competing and getting more, showing off what we have to others. This is what we're busy with. But the surah, previous surah didn't tell us, what are you distracted from? You know, it's one thing to be distracted, then you have to say, what are you distracted from? For example, you could say, video games are distracting you from studying for the exam. So yes, the video games are the distraction, but what are they distracting you from? From the exam, from studying, right? Usually Allah says, لا تلهكم أموالكم ولا أولادكم عن ذكر الله. Don't let your money and kids distract you. But He doesn't stop there. He says, distract you from the remembrance of Allah. There's a from, but there was no from in the previous surah. What are we being distracted from? That's the that's the question that's left open. And in this surah, we find what is it that most human beings are distracted from and they don't do. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ When we go into the detail and the, the lessons of this last ayah of Surah Al-Asr, we'll find this is what most human beings are not concerned with. They're con- we're preoccupied with other things. They're distracted from this task. And this is the only task that can save them from loss. SubhanAllah. And the central term of this surah is actually khusr, loss. And roughly translating khusr as loss. At takathur means to gain and want more and more and more. Khusr literally means to lose your most essential assets. You know, it's one thing you invest your money in a business, and you were hoping to make 20%, but you only made 10%. That's a loss, but you still made something. You didn't lose your initial investment. But when you put money in a business, and you lose the money you put in, and don't make anything on top of that either. You lose your capital investment basically. Ra'sul mal, what's called in Arabic. Ra'sul mal. You lose that too then that is called khusr. 